Hello friends, Pastor Mark here with another daily devotion. I thank you so much for taking the time uh, to be in God's Word, just for, even for a few minutes every day. It's so powerful in transforming our lives. I mean, the Word of God, it works. Uh, today's title is Battlefield Bravery. I see yesterday, June 6th, was the 77th anniversary of D-Day. And with everything else going on in church, uh, Confirmation Sunday and so on, we didn't have time really to kind of work it into the theme. So I wanted to uh, at least talk about it today, uh, even though it's a day late. And the uh, verse or verses uh, I want to use are from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, where Jesus says, My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. So battlefield bravery. Uh, a soldier gives up his life to save the lives of his fellow soldiers. And we hear of medals being awarded for such valor. And the soldier is uh, it's a part of a team. They are bonded together by by common goals, and they are motivated by respect and love for their brothers in arms. And these acts of bravery are rare events in our world. The soldiers whose lives are saved remember the heroic deed you know, for the rest of their lives. It's so moving to hear veterans tell the stories uh, from those heroes who laid down their lives uh, for, for them and their, their squad mates. And you can imagine if, you, if your life was saved by someone else's sacrifice, I mean, you would remember that for the rest of your life too. You tell that story fondly of how much this person loved you, his friends, the mission, uh, even more than his own life. He'd never stop talking about it, just to honor that person. Well, uh, you know, someone did die to save your life. Uh, someone by the name of Jesus. Now, in our case, uh, there were two significant differences that take the sacrifice far beyond anything else that has taken place here on earth. First, Jesus died... For all people who have ever lived on the earth, who are living, who ever will live on the earth. Everyone is a sinner. All have broken God's commandments. So each of us, by our own nature, was not a friend of Jesus. We were the enemy. Think about that. He laid down his life for his enemy. What kind of love is that? Tremendous. Second difference. Uh, what about the effect of Jesus' death for all of us? Well, he didn't die to lengthen our life here on earth. By his death, Jesus gave us eternal life. He turned us from enemies into friends. He took our sins on himself so that we could spend eternity with him in heaven. And to that end, we look forward. And in, for here and now, we hear his command. Love each other as I have loved you. Let me pray with you. Lord Jesus, help us this day to be willing to selflessly love the people in our lives the way you selflessly loved me when you paid for my sins on the cross. In your name, amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.